Hi guys, Dr. Tony here. Uh, let's talk about one of the most common causes of shoulder pain that we see in our office, and that is called impingement syndrome. Now this is, is, is by far the most common thing that you're gonna see with, with people. Uh, it's caused by sports that require overhead uh, activities. Uh, what we see today, CrossFit, uh, tennis, baseball, uh, even as we age and, we, and the shoulder becomes more arthritic, this can cause an impingement as well. So let me show you a little bit about the shoulder and tell you what impingement is. Now there typically are two things that are gonna take place. Either the bursa, which is a fluid filled sac, around the um, shoulder area, which helps lubricate it, or possibly even the tendon that's coming off the main rotator cuff muscle, uh, one of those, or maybe both, will be inflamed for those reasons we discussed. Now, as this uh, gets more inflamed, you may see symptoms such as a, a, a difficulty putting the arm over the head, reaching back behind the back. Uh, all of these will be signs that the impingement is possibly there. Now you have to be very careful with this because if you keep this impingement, this inflammation there, it's eventually going to degrade the tendon and could eventually lead to a more major situation uh, or condition called a rotator cuff tear, which we'll discuss in a later video. Now you're gonna see that there are three really common therapies that you can use at home to help give relief for this. Now, one of the most uh, sensible would be rest. You know, whatever activity seems to be bothering the shoulder, go ahead and stay away from that for a, a while. Uh, you have a second option of ice. Ice is a great anti-inflammatory, uh, and once the inflammation goes down, uh, the pain will subside with that. Now, you can also choose to use over-the-counter anti-inflammatories, and those do work, but remember, you take a risk of stomach irritation and stomach upset, so maybe that's not gonna be the best idea for you. In addition, it doesn't really do anything to help repair if the tendon has already started to fray or, or, uh, or become somewhat disfigured. Now, keep in mind that, that sometimes these, these are, are too out of control, uh, that ice and, and rest and these other things just aren't gonna help, or possibly an underlying condition, maybe the rotator cuff is already torn. This is where you're gonna need to seek help. Now, in our office, we're, we're gonna use, uh, in addition to proper diagnostic testing, we're gonna use things like cold laser. Cold laser is the newest technology, most advanced technology in reducing inflammation. In fact, it'll do it three to four times as fast in addition to helping the tissue repair. Now we hear a lot about soft tissue techniques and there are a lot of them that are out there, uh, but they're very painful. And so what we, we've used is a high frequency, frequency vibration tool called rapid release technology uh, that will help allow this shoulder to relax, gain full mobility, and also do it in a very painless way, unlike some of the other soft tissue techniques you may have heard of. Now let's say, for instance, if, if you're not responding to these types of therapies, which most of the people will, uh, that's when we need to start discussing would an MRI be uh, an appropriate action uh, to look at the area to see if there is a tear or maybe some un other underlying condition uh, that's not showing up on an x-ray. Uh, your doctors may prescribe uh, cortisone injections. Now the only thing about a cortisone injection, and they do work very well, is unlike the laser, which helps rebuild the tissue, the cortisone injection will help tear the tissue down over time, especially with repeated use. So it'd be best to say, well, let me do something to actually fix and repair the area versus doing something that's gonna tear the tissue down. Now guys, if this has gotten to the point where you're not sleeping at night, um, you're, you're not enjoying the activities you would like to do, don't waste any more time. Come in, let us get you back to the things that you enjoy doing.